Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Molly and I like to make motherhood and lifestyle content here on my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be vlogging. Um, so it's going to be kind of a little bit more, I guess, chill and relaxed. I don't know. I kind of, I feel like my videos are normally like relaxed. I honestly just really didn't have anything planned for this week. Um, so I thought what better time than to vlog. Today we don't really have a whole lot planned. We we are just basically going to be going to the grocery store. As you all know, we are still social distancing, um, but we don't have any food. So I need to go to the grocery store and pick up a couple other little like householdy things. Yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along. And I'm also going to be making some banana bread today because I have some bananas that seriously need to be used. So I am going to be sharing that with you guys as well. But right now, Gracie has a full diaper and I need to take care of that. So I'm going to change her diaper and get her dressed and then finish getting myself dressed because right now all I have is my shirt on for the day and I'm still wearing pajama pants. <laughs> so let's get that done. Alrighty, so I'm on the floor in my usual spot. So I wanted to say, Gracie has always been a terrible, <laughs> a terrible sleeper. Um, and I have always struggled with getting her to take naps. We finally came up with the plan of trying to get some blackout curtains to kind of like help it stay darker in the tiny house. Typically it's pretty bright in here. We have the big glass windows on our front door. And so it's really nice because you get a ton of natural light in here which is great. However, when you have a baby, natural light and nap time doesn't really go that well. I picked up these blackout curtains on Amazon. They're not as cute as my other curtains were, but they are serving their purpose and it makes it so nice and dark in here for whenever Gracie's napping. They literally have been a godsend because this one with her crazy hair took an hour and a half nap this morning. And she usually only naps for like maybe 35 minutes at the most. So the fact that she took an hour and a half nap today was a total win. So while Gracie plays for a moment, I'm going to get some clothes picked out for her and then finish getting dressed myself. It is like weirdly cold today. I think the high is like in the like low 50s, which really actually isn't that cold. But since we've had... She's literally about to walk away, you guys. Look at this chair. She has just been cruising all around this chair. Gracie. You trying to walk? Yeah. yeah. But anyways, now that I'm back on the floor, <laughs> I'm going to clean this place up really quick and then make my grocery list and then off to the store we will go. Alrighty guys, so quick update. I'm currently using my Cricut down here. Why is my camera foggy? Is that better? I don't know. Guys, the hair is just gonna be a mess today and <laughs> anyways, um, I'm using my Cricut really quick because I am printing out a logo for my mother and father-in-law's breeding kennels. Sorry, this thing is pretty loud actually. <laughs> Guys, this is how I have to use the Cricut if it's out. Like it's gotta be on the floor and like out of the way. Guys, it's seriously so windy and cold today. I don't even know like where this came from, but I meant to get more like B-roll when I was making those things, but it just didn't really happen. Now I got those couple things made here. Boom. Gonna go take them to my mother-in-law and then we go into Walmart. Alrighty, you guys. So Sorry I'm terrible at vlogging. Um, I totally had intentions of filming like the last four hours of my life. Um, however, that did not happen. <laughs> uh, basically, I went over and I took that stuff to my mother-in-law and then she graciously offered to watch Gracie for me while I went to the grocery store. Um, so that was really awesome and I was able to actually like do some good grocery shopping because there was just like some of that random stuff that we like needed to stock up on. So I need to finish 
finish putting away the groceries and Gracie just spilled the dog water on the floor. So I need to finish cleaning that up and then honestly just kind of like tidy up around the house. And then I will finally be making the banana bread. I'm sure that's why you guys are all here anyways. And I also have one more update for you guys as well, but we will talk about that once we start baking the banana bread. Guys, I went there. I bought instant coffee because I'm gonna try to make Dalgona coffee. We'll see. Okay guys, so it is now time to finally make the banana bread. I pulled out all the ingredients. Basically, all you're gonna need, of course, is brown sugar, flour, and then baking soda and baking powder, one egg, vanilla, chocolate chips, this is optional, but I am going to write the recipe down below. Okay guys, so you are gonna have a bowl view, but basically I am going to start out by melting this butter. That was great. Mixing together my butter and my brown sugar. Half a cup of brown sugar packed. I'm gonna be adding in my five tablespoons of melted butter. Now that that's combined, I'm going to add my egg and I'm going to mix. Next, you're going to be peeling up your ripe bananas to mash. Okay, so next we are going to be taking a half a teaspoon of baking soda as well as a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, this is something my grandma told me and I don't know like the logic behind it at all. She always said to sprinkle your baking soda and your baking powder on top of the mashed bananas. Like I said, I have no idea what it does, but my grandma said to do it and I've done it ever since then. Next, we are going to be adding our vanilla. That is just gonna be a half a teaspoon of food. So I just wanted to say one thing. Um, I did not add salt in this because I use salted butter. However, if you use unsalted butter, ah, add in a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Now that this is sat for a while, we're going to add this in, then we're gonna mix. Now that this is all mixed together, we are going to be adding one and a half cups of flour. Now we're going to mix, and then of course, last but not least, I'm just gonna be throwing in some semi-sweet chocolate chips here. Alrighty guys, and that is your batter. I am going to line these muffin tins. Also guys, I can't remember if I said this or not, but in the meantime, I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Okay guys, so while I am filling up these muffins, I am going to do a little I guess announcement, so to speak. So basically, I have been uploading on my channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That has been like my goal. And I've come to the conclusion that I think I need a little bit more time in between posting videos. Um, so I am going to be changing my uploading schedule to Wednesdays and Saturdays. Now that may not sound like a huge difference to anyone. It's kind of hard for me to get ahead if that makes any sense. And basically all that does is it just gives me a couple extra days during the week to kind of like get videos out. But I really just want to try to avoid having to like work on the weekends at all. I don't know. No one wants to work on the weekend. I want to be able to be consistent with making content for you guys and uploading. And right now I'm just really struggling to stick to that Tuesday and Thursday um, routine. Yeah. So that's basically my update for you guys. Now that these are full, we are going to pop them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks. And yeah, we will check in with what they look like when they're all baked. All righty, you guys. So these are, that is in my way, done. Y'all look at how beautiful those are. Perfect golden brown. I'm going to set them. Set them on the counter there.
now that we're all finished with the muffins, I think it is time for me to end this vlog. Um, it's kind of time for us to start our little nighttime routine. If you're curious what that looked like, I did make a video about it and I will link it in the cards above. It is what our nighttime routine looks like in the tiny house. I am wondering if you guys liked today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you made it through the whole thing. I'm really kind of curious to know if like you guys actually watched through the whole thing. Again, that banana bread recipe will be in the description box below below. If you have any questions about it, just leave them in the comments and I will be happy to answer. Also guys, while you're down in the comment section, leave a video request. Uh, leave something you'd like to see on my channel um, and I will try my best to deliver. Also just wanted to say hello. I have had quite a few new subscribers pop in and that makes me so, so happy. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to join the fam. If this is your first video of mine that you are watching, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you. So yeah, guys, with all of that being said, thank you all so much again for watching and I will see you all on Saturday in my next video. Bye guys.